Hello, uh, my name's Tom. Welcome to my channel. I've been doing a series of presentations about how to use ChatGPT to do my journey prompts. And uh, as they say, this changes everything. The announcement from OpenAI of the new ChatGPT has created a completely new environment, and I'm just starting to try to figure out um, how to take advantage of it. But I did want to show one quick thing, um, which is really cool. So what I want to show is I went to um, Perplexity, and I asked it, what are some websites that do my journey portrait prompts? And it gave me a list of websites. And I went to ChatGPT and I gave it the list of websites. And I asked it to go to the website and write up the, the main uh, details and from the, from the website and show example props. And I asked it, um, I asked it to do it in a way that would be nice, such as that one could include in a blog post and to make sure to include the illustrative examples. And uh, this is the response that it gave. It went to um, a site called uh, semicolon.dev and uh, I, I should mention that sometimes it's unable to read from the sites just because the way the site is, is set up. And in that case, you could just go to the site and uh, copy and paste the instructions. And the thing that's cool about this is that the new ChatGPT has an enormous context window of like 125,000 uh, tokens. So you can give it a lot of information and not have to worry about exceeding his context window. And you can see this, this what it actually read isn't that much information. It's able to extract information, create instructions about how to do the prompt. And you can use this yourself to, to write the majority of prompts or have it do it. You can give it the instructions. Um, well, it has instructions because it, I read the website and you will remember what it wrote. And it gave out the, um, it, it did what I asked for. It showed the tips, the example prompts. And then I asked it, please write out a mood journey prompt. I can try using the instructions you just wrote out. And it wrote out the prompt, which I have here. So I went to my server to to try out the prompt, which you can see here. I just copied and pasted what it came up with. And it, the, it didn't say anything about the aspect ratio or the technical parameters. So I just put something in there and realized after I did the prompt that it would work out better with uh, a portrait type aspect ratio rather than, than a, a landscape one. And this is what I have here which are some, some decent images. And I just wanted to show that, that that's a, a, a quick way that you can um, have chat GPT uh, do some prompts for you. And of course, you know, once you have this, uh, you can work with it to do, uh, pr to do prompts based on, um, on, you know, any sort of theme that you might want to give, like, let me just give an example here. Um, what are some ideas for some other prompts? Uh, other portrait prompts. Please write out some themes we could explore. Don't write out any prompts, but just ideas. All right, so I'm asking it to give it some ideas that we could use to um, uh, 
you know, to organize the departure prompts. So it's suggesting seasonal imagery uh, prompts that encapsulate the essence of a specific season, historical figures, cultural representation, fantasy and mythology, professions and roles, era-based fashion, emotional expression, cyberpunk and sci-fi, literary characters, magical realism, underwater scenes, sports and action, musical influence, film noir and mystery, nature fusion, famous art styles, astronomical elements, light and shadow play, retro sci-fi, and steampunk adventures. So this is a cool thing about ChatGPT. And you see how fast it is too. Uh, so they've improved uh, many things about it, the context render, the speed of the response. And this is a really cool thing about ChatGPT that it'll give you, you know, all of these uh, ideas about things that, that you might want to do. And of course, if I wanted to, I could ask it to write out the portrait prompts for uh, these things based on you know, whichever theme that I wanted to pursue. Um, well, this is um, this is a short video that I wanted to show off this new feature. And uh, I plan to share some other ideas about ways to take advantage of the new features that uh, ChatGPT has. And one thing that I'll mention is that up until now, for the last uh, several months, whenever the, the uh, custom instructions feature came out, I was really working hard to use that because it gave you 1,500 characters, which isn't very much. But whatever you put in those custom instructions, it would remember for the entire session. And that was a way to avoid having to repeat yourself and make sure that it did the things that you wanted it to do. And he didn't have to worry about that anymore because it remembers the entire conversation. And uh, so that leads to a different methodology in going about trying to accomplish your tasks. Well, thanks for watching this video. Until next time.